It's the Cube covering Sapphire Now 2017. Brought to you by SAP Cloud Platform and HANA Enterprise Cloud. Okay, welcome to the Cube, everyone. We're here for the special, exclusive Sapphire Now 2017 coverage from Palo Alto Studio. I'm John Furrier. Three days of Sapphire coverage. Our next guest is Jason Kostafis, who's with Senior Director, Database Solutions at EMC. Um, who came in uh, from uh, here in, in Palo Alto. You guys have some news down there, full team down there. I know, as we're, normally we cover SAP, it's our first year we're doing it from our studio. Yeah. But EMC's always been on theCUBE. You guys had a great <coughs> relationship with SAP. I think our first year we've done theCUBE in 2010. That's right. Yes, we were at I SAP remember. Sapphire. You guys right. were, you were on the, <laughs> you were on the Cube. You've been with us for a while, but the relationship within an SAP and, and EMC, now Dell EMC, is pretty significant. What's the big news you guys have going on? Yeah, I mean, it's it's a huge relationship for us. We've been, um, even before we were merged with Dell, one of our top partnerships, uh, now it's even bigger. We've been amazed at how much Dell had been doing with SAP and, and we're bringing the best of the two companies together right now. So yeah, we have a huge presence at Sapphire, as you mentioned. Um, we saw Michael Dell um, do a brief um, speech at the show and I thought that really helped set the stage for not just Dell and, and EMC with SAP, but even some of the words he said were a good microcosm of Dell and EMC talking about the importance of bringing together people and processes. And, um, you know, we're going through that right now and we're, yeah. we're, we're going through uh, how we're going to merge the portfolio to go after cloud, to go after HANA, yeah. um, Internet of Things, data center transformation, all of those major things. Well, certainly SAP, the theme is cloud. Multi-cloud is a big message. Yep. SAP Cloud Platform, we had Dan Lull on the queue. We also interviewed the HANA Enterprise Cloud Group. They're okay. also got a huge alliance with Amazon Web Service, Terry Wise there. We also saw uh, CenturyLink. So you start to see um, the industry formation going on. You can, the fog is lifting. You start to get some clear visibility on yeah. swim lanes, tactics, how people are settling in. Whatever metaphor you want to use, people are finding it. Dell EMC is just absolutely just a monster now. I mean, I mean that in a good way, I don't mean a bad way, but <laughs> it's, it's so big. EMC was already, already very powerful and winning in the storage business. Correct. Great enterprise chops, obviously Salesforce, the culture, you know, really well, mm -hmm. great culture as you know, we know them. Dell has been lean and mean like yes. the, the speedboat. That's right. Great with channels, great with operations, very lean and efficient. Yep. EMC, the direct selling, you bring them together. Now the supplier relationships are changed. I was talking with your team. Um, Dell brings to the table deep Microsoft Intel relationships. Not that you guys didn't have them, but they have deep relationships. Correct. You guys bring deep relationships. How has that new culture, Dell EMC, change your relationship, and specifically, what's the impact to SAP? Sure, yeah, no, great question. Um, first of all, it's been very complimentary, and we felt that going into the merger. I, I was, I've been at EMC for 21 years, right? So I, I had a, you know, worked with Dell 10, 15 years ago, and um, very, very complimentary, as you, and you nailed it. It's, it's, they're very good at one segment of the market. Historically, we're very good at another, and you know, for the most part, I think it's been a really, really good matching, made sense uh, from a merger perspective. Um, if we think about SAP for a second, uh, one of the first things that we've been bringing together is we have two very complementary HANA portfolios. So, um, you know, HANA is obviously a huge focus for SAP customers. Yep. Uh, I was just at Dell EMC World uh, last week, and every single customer that I talked to, whether they were running Oracle or Microsoft, they're all asking about HANA. Yep. And we, you know, we have a, we had a great focus at EMC with our enterprise HANA systems, and at Dell they have uh, very good packaged appliances and scale-up mm -hmm. bundles and. Right now, we feel like we can address the whole breadth of what people may want to do with HANA, whether it's TDI, scale up, scale out, um, very, very strong on, on the Where HANA Where does space. HANA fit in? Because I, I want you to just take a minute to explain this, because yeah. it used to be a blanket word, even when they were kind of getting it out early, it was great marketing from the beginning. Right. You know, it has legacy to it, but as the market changed, HANA changed. Yes. And as e, uh, EMC, or SAP changed, they changed some of their positioning. Specifically, they used to call it HANA Cloud Platform. Right and then you have HANA Enterprise Cloud. Now they renamed it to SAP Cloud Platform, which is the platform as a service, the cloud native stuff. Yeah. And then HANA Enterprise Cloud, which is the really the managed service. Right. So right. from your perspective, how do you define what HANA is today? And where is it settling yeah. in? Is it just the core engine mm, of SAP? Question. But how does it relate to all these new things? Yeah, for us it's really a platform. So if we think about where HANA began when we started working with SAP, it was all about analytics, collecting data, analyzing data, making better business decisions. Now with S4 on the horizon, 
and the inevitable cutover to that from, an, from all the other enterprise applications of SAP, we really view it as a platform. And it's going to have big implications. If we look at our own SAP install base at EMC, there's a lot of customers that run Oracle underneath their SAP apps. So as part of the HANA transformation, mm -hmm. we're, we're going to be getting them hopefully on the road to not just take advantage of HANA today, but as they go forward, how are they going to get ready for S4 and have a hopefully a smooth migration path to that? Obviously their cloud platform, yeah. I mean their cloud strategy or cloud direction, I don't know if you can have a cloud strategy, as Michael Dell said, clouds like the internet, it is, it's everything. So, right. so um, there's no real strategy, it's just the way life is. They're going to be on-premise and off-premise. And they're clearly targeting multiple clouds, unlike say right. Oracle, for instance. Right. But neither here nor there. The point is, is that on-premise is still going to be a 10 year plus journey. Mm -hmm. Nothing's going to be disappearing overnight. So the on-prem cloud dynamic is interesting because they use the word mission critical. Yes. That was a big buzzword with when I talked to Michael Dell, he, he banged home mission critical. A lot of the teams at Dell EMC World last week was around mission critical workloads yeah. and choice. Yes. So you guys have that same mojo going on with SAP. How is that translating for you guys? Sure. No, great. Big new business and new opportunities. Yeah, great question. So, so one of the big things that we've uh, acquired and focused on in the SAP space is VirtuStream. So they've been a really big off-premise cloud provider um, for us, but at the same time, um, when you look at what we've been building at EMC even before that, we had our own enterprise hybrid cloud offering. One of the things that we're talking about this week at Sapphire is actually bringing those two together. So we can have people have an off-premise and an on-premise experience, um, a single view of their data, a uniform way to manage SAP in the cloud, and to the point of mission critical, like you said, is as much as we've seen people move into the cloud, there are still people that want to have for certain production systems, they want to control that. Yeah. They don't want to give it off to the cloud yet. Um, they may not want to control the hardware, but they certainly want to control the data. And with this new relationship that we're blending in the EHC and VirtuStream, we can actually allow them to have that choice, to your point. What's the EHC? Uh, the EMC Enterprise Hybrid Cloud. Okay. So that's our own self-service um, automation uh, software framework that we put around the cloud. And Which cloud? Your cloud or other people's cloud? It's right now. It's on our. It's our cloud. So offering. you have a public cloud. We have a we have a a cloud offering that's a hybrid cloud okay. offering. Yeah, that you All can right. deploy on premise or, or off premise. And VirtuStream has been historically used off premise. So so you use VirtuStream as your off premise component of that piece. Correct. Okay. It right, makes and, sense. Okay. And we you had to them in January. I get that. That's right. And yeah. we had to bring the two together, and that and that's that's been a big uh, new new step for us. Um, so. In, in that regard, we think it's very, very complimentary um, mm -hmm. for SAP. That's one option we provide, right? We also work um, through SAP's own offerings to make sure we give them the right and the best infrastructure behind what they're trying to do with their own cloud. Um, you know, I was at a large partner of ours recently, um, OpenText, and we were talking about content archiving mm -hmm. and all the things yeah. that they do there. And you know, they're very deep in the SAP cloud, so we're working with them to start to potentially build you know, the right archiving and capabilities behind that. So what's the big news for you, for SAP this year? Obviously we saw the coverage, we had some folks calling in, and we had yeah. some folks down on the floor giving us some input. But from an SAP EMC, Dell, now Dell EMC relationship, what's the big news? What's the big story for you guys? What are you leading with? What's, what's the announcements can be specific? Yeah, the big, the big news is are all around the cloud. The bringing together of the on-premise and off-premise, EMC Enterprise Hybrid Cloud, VirtuStream, giving them that uniform way to consume SAP in a cloud-based model, mm -hmm. whether it be on-premise or off-premise, that is absolutely you know, our biggest new, new highlight. And Did you guys in. release that, was it news, that hard news that went out for you guys, or what story? Yeah, it was part of an EHC evolution um, story okay. that we brought out. Um, the other things that we have that are not necessarily formally announced, but are more uh, things that help the day-to-day -day administration of SAP applications. We often forget about that. You know, we're pushing people to the cloud and we all talk so there's about There's no the big splash in the pool, like, hey, we're releasing a new VX rail version of whatever. Correct, it's, yeah, there's no news. It's momentum optimized. specific. Correct. Okay, what is the big momentum, to your point? I mean, you can look back now, and you've seen a lot of the evolution we've seen, the relationship with SAP grow, we've seen the convergent infrastructure movement, now going to a whole other level. Hybrid cloud and convergent infrastructure is happening. Yep. What's what's the new wave that you guys are riding with SAP together besides the cloud? It's generically the cloud. What specifically? Is yeah, the I customer think, <coughs> pain point that you guys are solving. I, I think I think you just touched upon it. It's the whole build versus buy model. So historically, you know, if you look at where 
um, the SAP customers spend the most of their money. It's the OPEX, it's the operational expense of, of administering and maintaining the SAP landscapes. Um, and throw, through Dell. You mean like total cost of ownership stuff? Like I mean like. Easing some of the pain between deployment and Workflow cost. automation, copy clone refresh, backup recovery, performance automation, disaster recovery, all the things that you got to do to keep mm -hmm. the SAP applications generating value to the business mm -hmm. is heavy operational cost to them. Um, that holds them back from doing innovation and investments, and yeah, and those done, are those are in, in you know those are the details you got to get down and dirty on. Yeah, and we've done some great studies with you guys on this, and you know one of the things that there's different ways to go about tackling that. One of the ways that we believe is good is to simplify what you can, and so one way to do that is well, from an infrastructure perspective, you know you should have the ability to basically buy the infrastructure as an outcome, not have to build all the components and yeah. put it together. And so all now, the provisioning pain that goes with it. Yeah, and so when we were just EMC, we had one choice. We yeah. had what was called a V-block, right? <laughs> and then we built VX racks and VX rails. V-block was so successful, really was. I mean, yeah. They did a good job with that. A lot of customers from, from SAP. Um, now that we're Dell though, we have the, the PowerEdge family, and we've been bringing that into not only racks and rails, but looking at that in terms mm -hmm. of building what we call ready bundles, where we can actually deliver as a single. Think about this ready solution, because the yeah. thing that got me at the Dell EMC world was two things. The purpose-built mission continues, yes. well, I mean that in a good way. And two, the disruption for um, data back, uh, protection and backup and with the cloud. The cloud is a new mm -hmm. um, disruptor right. for, for some reason, backup and recovery is completely different in the cloud than it is on-prem, so we've seen a lot of action in there too. Those are the two ready areas, and then also yeah, sure. dynamic changes going on with backup and recovery. Yeah, ready, ready systems, is, ready solutions was a huge theme, and we this was part of the merger. We rebranded our solutions organizations into one, and so um, our whole, as the name implies, the whole goal is to del deliver a ready infrastructure to the customer that they can just deploy, so they can focus on their applications and their business, and not worry about the server, the network, the storage. Which ones do I put mm -hmm. together? For what reason? We want to give them that menu of choice, whether it's a single yeah. node, a bundle of components, or an actual system, and deploy that in any way they want. Okay, what can we expect yeah. from uh, Dell EMC, uh, from your team, vis-a-vis uh, -vis, uh, with respect to SAP? Yeah. Next couple months, next year, what's the plans? What's the, what's the continued momentum uh, pl uh, playbook? Yeah, so some things that, that we'll be, you'll be seeing more of, um, if you go to the, there's a Dell Blueprints page, we, ha we have all of our solutions. You'll be seeing some new and refreshed offerings around HANA. Um, you'll be seeing some new things around SAP landscapes, mm -hmm. and you'll be seeing much more, uh, I think, formal communication around the cloud offering I talked about. Got Those it, yeah, and cloud seems to be, again, cloud is taking it outside the four walls, which is different. I mean, great capabilities, people going analytics, putting a lot of analytics in the cloud, so you're seeing that being yes. the, you know, the first wave beyond dev test. So dev test, even though, you know, Oracle says dev test is really going to be around for a long, long time. People are already moving to analytics mm -hmm. in the cloud. That's yep. interesting for instrumenting for backup and recovery. Right. What's possible. Quick thoughts on the changes there in the, in the landscape between the old way of thinking about backup and recovery. And by the way, you guys have some of the best solutions out there. That whole data domain, sure. track record, just a history, but now it goes to the cloud. Yeah. Yeah. What's the tricky parts that you guys well, are watching? Well, I think, yeah, on the one hand, I think there'll be people that want to worry about their mission critical, and we, like you said, we have great integrated offerings to the workload, so you can have a backup team handle it, or you can have your workload team handle okay. it, it's really up to you. Um, as people go into the cloud, I think they have to decide, you know, what's the tiering strategy they want to approach to that, what's the retention data strategies that they need, and yeah. how is that going to Where the hell's the data going? Where is the data going? Yeah, I mean. Is it safe and secure? Um, and, and how does that relate to how they're protecting their on-premise data? So, I mean, from our perspective, um, and back to the, the SAP example yeah. of where we have this uniform cloud approach, you know, we have the backup capabilities mm -hmm. built into that, whether it's, you know, long-term data retention, short-term backup and recovery, um, yeah. and, yeah. So, question for you. This is a test, with the real-time cube test. I'm sure you'll pass with flying colors. What is the most big, what are the biggest two waves that customers should be surfing in the enterprise. Um, the top the two most important waves. I, I think one of them we've already talked about, cloud. which is certainly cloud. I think I think if you look at the whole um, digital transformation, mm -hmm. which I know is related to cloud, but the whole di digital transformation mm -hmm. wave, I think is is separate than that. So if you look at big data and analytics and machine data, every customer, whether it's a traditional, you know. RDBMS environment or what have you, they're all looking at how to harness that data. And I think when you get into that and look at all the data in your data center that you may not be using today, you may not have been trying to take advantage of um, with technologies like Splunk and other things that are out there to help you do that, mm -hmm. 
that's a great thing to look at. Um, we're seeing like heavy transfer. So data basically, cloud and data, the two big waves. Yeah, digital Anything transformation data. and data and, and taking well, they're, advantage they're of that Well, they go hand in hand because you get that's the right. scale with the cloud for compute and other things. Right. Data drives digital, <laughs> digital is data, right? Digital assets Correct. are data, right? It's so very related. Everything's data. Yes, right? yeah, at the end of the day. So you would agree, cloud and data, two big waves. Yes. All right, Jason, yep. thanks so much yep. for coming on theCUBE. Special coverage, and, and final comment, I'll give you the last word on SAP Sapphire. I know you got a relationship, so you're probably going to be like, oh yeah, the SAP, everything's great. <laughs> be straight, yeah. what's going on with SAP? What's, their, what's, what's the outlook for SAP from your perspective? I, I think there's a great opportunity to your point, but there's also a good challenge because we're going through a merger and I think we're making great progress to bring the two portfolios together and SAP's being a great partner helping working with us. So. And you're cool with them now. You guys feel good about SAP? We feel great about them I and mean, we, we use them in our own environment in Dell, yeah. as Michael talked about, to run our own business. Yeah. So it's a great relationship and you and know. McDermott's been on yeah. remote telecast for former EMC world, so. yeah. As Great. you know, these partnerships yeah. in, the, in the industry go up and down, right? We talked yeah. a little bit about Oracle and over the years, that's fluctuated. I was SAP's, dating myself the other yeah. day on a CUBE gig and I said, oh, it's a Barney deal, which in my language was, <laughs> you know, no real deal because Barney was a character on that kids watched, right. my kids watch, you know, I love you, you love me, it's kind of a yeah. love fest, but nothing happens. Right, right. And it's called it Barney deals. But but I need I need a new meme now because most of the people in the industry don't know who Barney is. Oh, I remember this. We, <laughs> we used to joke about it when I was in alliances, we called them Barney meetings. You'd yeah. have a good meeting with a partner, you'd all talk and nothing yeah. would happen, right? So, yeah. We, you guys do not have a Barney deal with SAP. It's pretty deep no. across the board. Correct. And, that's the, and SAP has good relationships, I got to say. I, I, they tend to do really, really good. They're either in or they're not. I mean, it's pretty obvious. Right. Um, thank you, Jason, so much. Yeah, I'm Jason Kostopoulos, who's with senior director with <coughs> the senior director of the Database Solutions Group with Dell EMC, joining us for our special uh, three-day coverage of Sapphire now from our studio. Great week. We had Informatica World in San Francisco, Google I.O. going on today as well. We got live coverage today with Rob Hof, Alcy Veeam um, on is in New Orleans. Dave Vellante is there. Uh, and, and SAP separate. A lot of coverage, four events for theCUBE. Stay with us for more for live coverage after this short break.